Shasta Lake in California has undergone an incredible transformation, going from extreme drought to nearly overflowing. This remarkable turnaround has brought joy to recreational enthusiasts. But experts caution that the path to water sustainability remains uncertain. Meanwhile, nearby Trinity Lake continues to struggle. Brace yourselves, because we're about to uncover the spine-chilling events that unfolded at Shasta Lake. Get ready to be amazed, astonished, and perhaps a little terrified. The story of Shasta Lake is an engaging tale that takes us back to the early 1900s when the construction of the monumental Shasta Dam began. This engineering marvel stands at a staggering 602 feet and has impounded three major rivers, the Pitt, McLeod, and Sacramento. Each river arm retains its own unique characteristics, environment, history, and recreational opportunities. Shasta Dam is the second tallest concrete dam in the entire United States, and by 1948, it created Lake Shasta, the largest man-made lake in California. Covering an impressive 30,000 acres, Shasta Lake reaches an elevation of 1,067 feet above sea level when it's at full pool and has a capacity of about 4,552,000 acre-feet of water. It ranks among California's top three largest bodies of water, surpassed only by Lake Tahoe and the Salton Sea. With a depth of 517 feet below the surface, Shasta Lake offers a profound underwater experience. Beyond its practical uses in agriculture, hydroelectric power, and flood risk management, the lake is a paradise for adventure seekers. Boating, fishing, water skiing, and camping enthusiasts flock to its stunning 370-mile shoreline. However, Shasta Lake has faced challenges, particularly during a three-year consecutive drought that severely depleted water levels in major reservoirs across the state. So, how did Lake Shasta make such a remarkable recovery from extreme drought to the brink of overflowing? Join us as we delve into the captivating story of Shasta Lake's resurgence and explore what lies ahead for this iconic water resource in California. Between 2020 and 2022, the lack of rainfall and reduced snowpack in California caused the water levels to drop dangerously low, leaving the community worried and the reservoir nearly empty. In September 2021, the lake was only 24% full and about 175 feet down from the top of the dam. Can you believe the last time Shasta Lake was full was back in 2019? Yes, it hit an all-time high level of 10645 feet and since then, the Golden State has been grappling with a long-lasting drought. It was tough on the ecosystem and put a damper on recreational activities. As of last year, the severity of the state's drought reached a point where many agencies relying on water from the reservoir received minimal to no allocations. Some water districts and cities in the northern part of the state, responsible for drinking water supply, only received the bare minimum required for health and safety. But then, along came 2023, and it brought about a remarkable transformation. It was a year of change, with rising water levels that held a few fascinating reasons behind them. The first and most significant factor was the shift in weather patterns experienced by California. Rainfall exceeded expectations, bringing a welcome replenishment to Shasta Lake and other water sources in the region. Furthermore, winter storms blanketed western Shasta County with abundant snow, surpassing historical averages. This influx combined with the healthier snowpack and increased rainfall, gradually raised the water levels. Remarkably, by May 9th of this year, the lake's water level had surged by nearly 150 feet since the beginning of 2023, reaching a height of 1,063.87 feet above sea level. This measurement was a mere 3.2 feet below the lake's total capacity of 1,067 feet. To put this achievement into context, the May water level was the highest recorded at this time since 2019, just slightly below the 2019 peak of 1,064.5 feet. 
Astonishing images captured by NASA's Earth Observatory displayed the incredible transformation of Shasta Lake in just one year, from November 18, 2022, to May 29, 2023. The lake rebounded from a mere 31% capacity to an awe-inspiring 98% full by the end of May. The telltale bathtub ring that once marked the water's previous levels vanished completely. To truly grasp the magnitude of this achievement, let's revisit Shasta Lake's total capacity, which stands at approximately 1,067 feet above sea level. In November 2022, the lake had dwindled to around 918 feet, but by January 2023, it had already risen to 928 feet. As of May 29, it reached an impressive height of 1,063 feet, a mere three feet away from reaching full pool status. This remarkable turnaround is a testament to the lake's resilience in the face of drought. As of July 9th, the water level currently stands at 1,054 feet above sea level, a remarkable 13 feet below full pool. These levels are excellent for this time of year. Other reservoirs in the area experienced substantial increases as well. Lake Oroville, the second largest reservoir in California, reached a staggering 97% full by May 29. These reservoirs play a crucial role in water storage, flood control, and provide recreational opportunities and irrigation for crops in the Central Valley. Here's the exciting part. The current weather conditions in the region have brought us a remarkable surprise. The rainy season has resulted in an extraordinary amount of snow in the majestic Sierra Nevada mountains. Those powerful atmospheric river storms have generously covered the mountains with an incredible snowpack. When spring finally arrives, the temperatures rise and the magic happens. The snow begins to melt, gracefully making its way down the slopes and finding its path into our reservoirs. It's nature's way of replenishing our freshwater supply, and boy, does it make a significant impact. Believe it or not, about 30% of California's water comes from this remarkable snowpack. The melted snow greatly increases the flow of streams and rivers, ensuring our reservoirs are filled during the enchanting season of spring and early summer. It's like a natural storage system nestled high in the mountains, and it might even push the water levels of Lake Shasta to new heights. But wait, there's more to the story. While the rapid melt sounds like a dream come true, it also brings some concerns, especially when it comes to flooding. You see, we've been enduring an extensive mega drought in the Western United States, and it has left the soil incredibly dry. If all that melted snow rushes down too quickly, the thirsty soil won't have a chance to absorb it properly. This could potentially lead to flash flooding in Central Valley, Lake Clear, and Yosemite, which would only add to the challenges caused by the drought. Furthermore, our groundwater reserves and aquifers are already strained, magnifying the importance of careful water management in our region. It's a delicate balancing act we must master to ensure we have enough water while avoiding floods. Although having an abundance of water may seem like the perfect solution to California's drought, it's not as straightforward as that. The dry soils and the risk of flash flooding hinder the much needed replenishment of our groundwater supplies. So, you might be wondering, what do the experts say about the future of Lake Shasta and its implications for California? Now, don't get me wrong. The recent surge of water is certainly a relief after such a prolonged drought. However, we can't assume that all our water problems have been magically solved. The future of Lake Shasta and the water situation in California still remain uncertain. We need to stay vigilant and continue to explore sustainable solutions for our water needs. Guess what? I've got some fantastic news for you. Don Bader, the super cool area manager for the Bureau of Reclamation in Northern California, is feeling really positive about what's going on. You know what he expects? Lake Shasta is going to stay filled with plenty of water all summer long. And get this, even though it might decrease by about 40 to 50 feet by September. That's actually awesome for all the fun recreational activities you can enjoy there. But wait, there's more. Don is crossing his fingers and toes 
that we'll get our usual winter storms in the region, which could mean one thing, a total refill of Lake Shasta. How awesome would that be? So get ready for an amazing time at Lake Shasta this summer and keep your hope high for an epic winter refill too. Wow, wasn't that an absolutely mind-boggling journey into the mysterious happenings at Shasta Lake? Our minds are still reeling from the shocking revelations we've uncovered. Remember to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to share this mind-blowing video with your fellow thrill seekers. Turn on the notifications bell to get updates on new discoveries. Stay curious, stay vigilant, and join us next time as we unravel more secrets that will leave you in awe. Until then, keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep your eyes wide open.